YouTubers. I thought I'd do a little bit of a quick product evaluation here today for Housemart. They sent me a wireless driveway alarm, solar powered, made by Emac Cross. Uh, you can get more than one of these units. I've showed, I can give you a link in the description to part one. I covered it a little bit. But this is the solar powered thing that you detects movement in the driveway. It's got a buttons on the bottom for four different channels, a place to charge it. And um, off loud and quiet alarm. I'm not actually going to get it installed today, but I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to do a demonstration because I don't know if I want to, where I want to make it permanently attached. But you loosen up this little swivel on the back with a screwdriver and mount it somewhere. It's set about four feet off the ground for uh, automobiles. You wouldn't want to pick up some little puppy dog running up and down the driveway. But I'm thinking about mounting it right there. No, right at that angle there would be perfect. I'll have to put a board up to attach it to. But I want to cover that area of the driveway out there. I'm going to see how far away it activates. Let's just stand it over on the truck for right now. I guess it might help to turn it on. Now normally this unit here would be in the house. But I've got it out here with me because I can't be out there out here setting it up and in there listening to it too. Okay, it detected me right up close. Let's walk down here somewhere and see if it detects me. What I'm probably going to wind up doing is putting it down there by the driveway. Alright, I'm a good 50 feet away and it picked me up just fine. Let's get on farther down the driveway. Evidently it works off of heat. Okay, we're a good 40 yards, I guess. Okay, it's not detecting me here. Let's see how close I gotta get. Maybe I turned it off. Did I? Alright, it's not tilted the right angle. It's gonna be it's gonna be adjusted. Now I'm pointing right down the driveway. All right, I turned it off. Let's try it again. Now, I charge this thing up with my charger. It comes with a charger. I charged it up with my charger in my house last night. It's got four little pin light batteries for backup for in times when there's no electricity. Let's see if it gets me right here when I turn it off. All right, it's on. Well, it ain't working on my truck. Maybe the metal truck is affecting it. Maybe I forgot to turn it on. Well, I wouldn't write home about the range. Let's put it up here. Oh, right, it's away from the truck now. It's picking me up from that distance. That would definitely be enough to cover anybody's driveway or walkway in a city type house. Says it's got a half mile range. I wouldn't bet on that. Let's 
Maybe we should try a different channel. It's got a volume up and down on it. Let's try a different channel. Okay, we got on channel one. Oh, that's cool. The tone is different on channel one. It's possible mine needs more charging. It hasn't been in the sun at all today. What I like about this conception is where you don't have to change the batteries all the time. All right, let's turn it off and try a different channel. All right, I'll get out of range before I turn it on. So you can memorize, say if you had four of these alarms set up, you could memorize the tone and you'd know by the tone which one was being activated. It definitely has a different tune for each alarm. I'm not getting a great distance out of it. We can... And that's not on loud, that's on low. We succeeded in getting one about 50 feet away a while ago. And it might be that I don't... Since this thing works off of heat and it's a hot day, that could be affecting it some. I'm not actually going to get it done today. It's late. Installed today. It's late. But that's my review. On an EMAC Cross wireless solar powered driveway alarm. You have to hold in on the button to turn it off and on. I got the conception of how it works. what buttons were in here just got the three batteries four batteries volume up and down and power button and a place to charge it oh you know what might be wrong I didn't charge this but I was I figured the uh, the four batteries I had in there is, was would be enough but it's possible I need to charge this too. I guess whether we like it or not, we're gonna do a part three and see if charging this will give me greater range on the activity of activating the thing. That might be my whole problem. This thing might be weak. I didn't charge it. I charged this all night long. It charged good. They have a charging port in both of these. So, possibly I'll do a part three. That's going to conclude part two. Y'all stick around. We'll get another video out of this thing.